I'm going to go ahead and show you embedded if statements in this video. So just like we were able to have an array inside of an array, we can also have an if statement inside of another if statement. Let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm going to first remove my nslog statements so that it's not confusing as we go through and we don't have a lot of things printing out to our console. So I'm going to create two integers and we can say int x is equal to 10 and int y is equal to 20. And I'm going to say if x is equal to 10 and if y is equal to 20, do some set of logic. NSLog, both are true. So we were able to write this much more simply using uh, a double ampersand to make both statements evaluate to true. But I could have also written this if statement inside of another if statement because sometimes it just makes sense to have our code or comparisons decoupled. So we're able to do one comparison here. And I could even do an additional set of logic here. So I could say NSLog x equals 10. And then if y is equal to 20, we'll say both are true. So the use case here would be, I always know that this code will evaluate if x equals 10, but if both of them are 10, then we get this set of code. So I could use an else if, but I'm choosing to use an embedded if statement to show you how embedded if statements work. Let's see how this works. So we're going to go ahead and run our application, and we'll see x equals 10 prints out first. That's because x does equal 10. And then y equals 20, so we'll get both our true print out as well.